Ruth and Castelli and Mervyn Tran are beginning their second year together as a pair. Last year, the team focused on training and had limited competitive outings. This season, the pair is ready to enter the international circuit and has been training diligently to prepare their top elements. Earlier this summer, Castelli and Tran tested out new material at Skate Detroit. The start was great. We were really happy for that. We did what we wanted to do. Uh, it was kind of like nationals, like we went out there and put out a great short, showed people what we were capable of. And then free program, the beginning was good. Like, yeah. We started off doing what we wanted, and then after that, just half, at the, after the halfway point, we just, well, we did more work on that lot of program. So, the thing is, uh, it's our time. Yeah, we were definitely disappointed, but you know, um, it's not like we haven't been, we, we've never done a program like that in practice, we've normally been pretty consistent. That's so, the worst part. <laughs> yeah, we were, you know, everyone has those bad programs, and we were really upset we couldn't put out the program that we've been practicing. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's a terrible program, but they didn't get to see it. It's a very exciting, and when you, we do with the music, it's very moving and exciting, and I definitely want to portray that. And I think uh, as the competition go, season goes on, we're going to keep on pushing to make that even better. While their short program showed great potential in Detroit, their inexperience displayed itself in the free skate, where Tran even went for a triple toe instead of the pair's planned double. After a rough free skate at the 2015 U.S. Championships, it was not the skate they were looking for. And like, I actually have more issues doing the double toe, double toe for some odd reason, because it's just, it's weird with speed. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to make excuses though. Uh, I messed up. Let's go ahead. So, yeah. Going into it, like, and that's part of one of the things that, uh, like, because that was a point where you can see noticeably in the program where I kind of shut down. Just cause I couldn't shake that off me. Like, I did, I rotated more than I was supposed to, and then after that, the entire time I was thinking, like, oh, crap, 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 crap. And that didn't help the rest of the program. So, uh, next time, we'll, just, well, next time that won't happen. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> A few weeks later, the pair competed a short program again at a summer competition in Quebec. Despite missed levels on footwork and their death spiral, the pair narrowly defeated training partners Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero. It was the pair's first taste of competition outside of U.S. soil, and the slight differences were noticeable. Interesting competition this weekend. It's one of those uh, summer competitions. Uh, here they do it, they only have six minute warm ups and you go, so we didn't practice beforehand. So it was yeah. kind of like a... Just... You're like getting used to the ice throughout the entire practice and program to halfway through the program. Okay, I'm starting to feel the ice better now, but that's yeah. about it. It was good to get out again and just to put the program out in front of uh, people in Canada, especially because we compete in the States and compete in Canada is a little bit different because they don't know us here. So I think it was good to get out and do that and just getting another program under your belt, whether it's good or bad, so it's good. It's a half hour track, so it's a big deal for us today. Since that event, the team has been hard at work perfecting their elements for the international season and raising their levels, particularly on their footwork. Skate Detroit, we got level four. We were happy with that. This past competition, we got level two. Uh, we got level three. Yeah. Uh, sweet, we got level three. Uh, but uh, like, we're we're happy with the footwork and how it is. Uh, we know why we got the level three. It was just like one little uh, mistake. I missed my loop, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> But we want, just want to make sure it's perfect because we know that there are moments where if like, you were to take pictures, we were obviously not matching and we, for us that's not acceptable. Like, so this, like, we do these summer competitions just to like, you know, get used to it, but by the end of the season we want to be picture perfect for every part of that. This weekend the pair takes to the ice for their first ISU event at the International Figure Skating Classic in Salt Lake City, Utah. Next month the team will challenge the best on the ISU Grand Prix where they have some clear goals set for themselves. Yeah. Um, we want to come in with two strong showings. Our ultimate goal is to make the Grand Prix final. I think that's something that could be a possibility. Uh, we just have to stay straight and do our training. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to put out two good strong showings. Uh, this is our first year internationally and it can always go up and down and we really like it to go up. And we've been training hard so we really want to show that. <laughs> 